Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This video will be about uh, Aries Sun, Moon and Rising. Weekly tarot reading for uh, April 22nd to April 28th, 2000 and, uh, 2019. All right, so the first card about uh, Aries that is going to refer to its topic of the week and that is the Sun card, followed by the second one, which is the um, challenges that Aries needs to face throughout the week that is going to be the six of wands. The third card which is the positive the positive aspects of the week for Aries that is going to be the uh, nine of pentacles and the last card which is the final outcome or rather like the guidance. It's not the final outcome it's the guidance because I changed the spread here. Uh, <clears throat> we do have the lowers card. So these four, that is going to be the topic, which is the uh, sun card followed by the six of wands. That is going to be the challenge Aries needs to face. After that, we do have the uh, nine of pentacles. And the last one that is going to be the guidance here, which is the lovers card. All right, lovely. So guys, uh, sun card as a topic of the week, obviously very positive card. One of the really the best cards in the in the tarot deck generally the sun does shows a expanding energies of growth meaning that you can proceed further with uh, your projects and with your en endeavors in generally expecting that they are to start unfolding naturally meaning that slowly but steadily they will <clears throat> they will start improving. The sun is very good card as well to establish monetary success and to achieve harmony into one's relationships, giving that if you are fighting, for example, with your wife or with your husband, that week is going to be a, a fantastic week for you to settle out these uh, arguments. The accompanied card of the sun here we do have the eight of cups. So formation is active, uh, active enemies. And as the Eight of Cups is about walking, you know, walking away, being dissatisfied of the situation, but um, how can I place it? <clears throat> Realizing that one cannot do anything as an as an um, active enemy to the sun, it means that you can do something about it. Therefore, uh, this week, uh, to me at least, looking at these couple of cards for you, Aries, is, is like uh, resuscitating a, a situation or a traversing a situation which uh, could have gone uh, very wrong or, or it is going very wrong uh, on your behalf this time around into something into something quite productive now <clears throat> with this topic guys i would if i had these cards i would not spare any time or any resources in order to get what i am uh, what i am after because with these couple of cards it seems that you can truly traverse failure into uh, into a success now, the next card which we do have for you, that is going to be the challenge here. And we have the six of wands. So you, you're going to have a hard time making people recognizing your efforts. Uh, for example, making your boss recognizing your effort of traversing the failure into the success. You know, your, for example, your wife or husband seeing your efforts in order to sustain the marriage and to secure the marriage and so on and so forth. So in generally recognition from other people is 
is going to be quite of a challenge. The challenge as well is going to be you achieving a significant milestone throughout the week. Not that it is impossible, all right? So we are talking about challenges, not things which are which you are deprived from. So it will be difficult, but it is the goal of the week. So reaching a significant milestone and showing or kind of like demanding other people to recognize you. Therefore, it's going to be challenging for you to receive the rewards from your endeavor. And uh, as well with this card, it seems that uh, it is unlikely that you're going to get a helping hand as well. So it does look like that this week you are going to toil on your own over either your project or over either your relationship once again. Uh, the Six of Swords, it does represent peak of experiences, all right? So uh, once again, the challenging thing is going to be you being uh, receiving or kind of like experiencing the peak of that experience or being in the in, in, in the peak of that experience. So you may find the toils or rather like your performance into the week a bit um, boring, right? And unappreciated, that is. With the death card, we do have another formation, which is a active, uh, active enemies. And uh, I, it looks like, guys, that you cannot do much to change the environment, as the death is a change, as an active enemy is here to the, uh, to the Six of Wands, uh, changing your, or rather like trying to approach the situation from a different angle, I does not gonna yield a much of a result. Therefore, with these couple of cards, it seems that you have a pretty good idea how you should tackle with your marriage or how you should tackle with your career as well, you know, how you should tackle with the friends that you do have nonetheless. Now, <clears throat> to me, it does look like that you will have to take the hard way around, meaning that, you know, you got to jump into those difficult endeavors. But in fact, with these cards, it is the only way around. Okay, so uh, choosing the easy way, uh, it's not going to yield the results that you are after being with that person, you know, being successful into your career, and there, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, I want to add a bit of a uh, more more to these cards as a challenging thing that it's going to be as well challenging to fit in the in the picture especially if we're talking about new enter uh, new um interactions okay so you have recently been introduced with someone you like their company you will have it challenging to to fit into their environment as well due to your habits with these couple of cards so it's going to be difficult for you to work over a certain habits that you do have nor that you should you know try to work over those habits with these cards that person or the, that society of people that is should accept you of what you are the next card that we do have for you, Aries, is that is going to be uh, the positive aspect. So with the Nine of Pentacles, it's look that you it's look like that you can be quite successful on your own, which is what we were talking about here, guys. Is that you will have a difficult time, someone to recognize your efforts, to to lend you a helping hand, and so on and so forth. But you're gonna be quite strong on your own, being. Um, being fully capable to enjoy the life just as life is and as well not to mention that the nine of pentacles is pointing that you're going to take on this endeavor a new conquest that is with quite of an enthusiasm being capable to achieve flawless uh, har harmonious flow excuse me into your relationships that is on your own or a quite of a, um, a, a business success that is so with the with the nine of pentacles at the end uh, when you are finally being recognized, being appreciated, because that is going to happen one way or another, you know, it's just going to be difficult throughout this week. Uh, uh, you know, raises are on the stake here as well as the uh, promotions. The accompanied card that is going to be the two of uh, ones. So the formation is passive neutrals. And uh, with the two of wands here, it doesn't look like that you have to look very far. Like we said, there is only one way to get what you want throughout this week, whatever your plan is to get throughout, throughout the week. 
and as I said, you don't have to look very far, is that you should not try to figure out a different kind of strategies. I mean, you uh, with, uh, with this card here, you are stepping on a quite good solid foundation, either regarding your career or either regarding your, uh, your, you know, your marriage or your relationship cycle and so on and so forth. But now, you know, a, a for, further efforts needs to be exerted and those further efforts you can do only on your own. No one can help you with what is in front of you. So you got to figure it out on, uh, on your own. But with the Sun card at the start of the reading, Aries says, it does look like, guys, that uh, you will have no problem whatsoever due to the clamorous belief that you're going to possess uh, which kind of preaches that your endeavors are going to be inevitably marked by a, a success, which is going to happen, obviously. But uh, it's just what I'm trying to say here is, is that some of you, which cares way too much, you know, what other people's opinion about them is, uh, are going to have difficult time, you know, as they will, like I said, face challenge to get recognized from other people. Now, what you need to know with these cards as well here, Aries, is, is that the uh, the ultimate job or the grand achievement is far from done. Now, throughout this week, you're going to uh, mark a, a significant progress and improvement that is about either your career or about either your relationships, but you can expand that even to further heights, to greater heights. That will happen if you do not... Um, sap the performance all right so you need to keep up with the enterprise or with the endeavor being keeping up with your career or keeping up with uh with your relationship the next card and the final one which we do have that is going to be the lover's card so we do have about decision that needs to be made that is the guidance now the guidance says that whatever decision you are to make throughout this week uh, there is no right or wrong decision that's why you got you should not kind of like bang your head against the wall trying to figure out which decision you're going to uh, to take is going to yield less uh, consequences and uh, are going to give you most prospects. Either of the decisions that you are to take are going to give you equal um, consequences and prospects, but these uh, prospects and consequences are going to be different in manifestation. So it all comes to personal preference here with uh, the lover's card. Additionally to that, the lovers, this point that many things are going to fall into place, meaning that many issues that you are having currently until this very moment, should you allow them to uh, resolve themselves on their own accord, that is what is going to happen. And what you need to do, meanwhile, is to focus on that grand achievement and that big deal that is in front of you, marked with the Sun card, which points a, as I said, expanding energies of growth. So you do have a field in your life, Aries, that can and should be worked over and should be expanded on. The rest can simply wait. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Hierophant and what we do have, it is a um, active enemies in this case. So uh, once again, we do have a confirmation of singularity here as the Hierophant stands for benevolent support, someone being taught, someone being counseled, you know, about how to resolve uh, a current uh, drama or a current issues, current problems, setbacks and so on and so forth. And as an active enemy is to the lovers, like said, these things are going to resolve themselves on their own accord. And as I said previously, you do have a pretty good idea how you should proceed from now on forward. I never said that it's going to be easy, ain't going to be easy, guys, but a, an actions are required in order to capitalize, you know, on those expanding energies of growth and generally positive times, which awaits you here. But in order to experience, in, experience them, you know, you need to have the guts to initiate. So that being said, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading, Aries, and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.